hello hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is Yudi and I go by Yudi on the globe here on my other social media platforms so make sure you subscribe to me here go ahead subscribe hit that bell and follow me there today I'm sharing with you guys my fall and winter essentials things that I use to really build the look so if you're interested please stay tuned so starting off for me, a must-have are scar. My mom used to always say when you expose yourself, that's how you get sick. Really what she meant is when you expose and don't keep warm certain parts of your body, especially the parts that lose heat easily, you're more likely to get sick. If I was wearing my low top shirt, my neck was out, or my ears were exposed, that's really it. So aside from being fashionable, scars really keep you warm. So for me, I love an oversized scar, something more like a shawl. That way you can play around with it more and you have that many more options to style your scarves. So the type of scarves I love the most in winter are those thick blanket-like shawl scarves. You have so many options with how you style it. The possibilities and options are all there. And I feel like it's a great piece to have even before it gets super cold. If you're at a point where you're not quite ready to wear your jacket or coat, you can throw your scarf on. Or if you go somewhere and you don't feel comfortable keeping your coat on, you can keep your scarf on and that will keep you warm while you're inside. Another thing that's kind of a reach, but the idea of wearing cardigans or sweatshirts over the shoulder, tied around the neck. That kind of also gives the same shawl effect. Same thing that scarves do. When the cold months come, I'm keeping my neck warm because I do not want to get sick. So for me, my scarves are definitely coming out as soon as the weather starts getting a little cooler. Next are hats, and there's so many different types of hats, but I'm going to narrow it down to a few here. First and foremost, I love a bucket hat, especially a fur bucket hat. It's going to give you that extra pizzazz as well as keep you warm, but I love my brown bucket hat. I got this hat from ASOS about two years ago, one of the things that stand apart with this hat, the rim of the hat has some type of wiring that really helps it keep its shape. And I feel like it's just a fun item to throw on. Next, I have your wool fedoras. Your fedoras are gonna make a statement wherever you go, cause really think about it. Most times, if you look around the room when you're out and about, how many people have on a fedora? How many? And how many people are rocking it in a fashionable, chic way? So for me, I took the like wide brim for doors. I like the extra something that it gives. Just for a bucket hat, it's something about it that's gonna make you stand out, that's gonna make you pop. Anytime I wear either of these hats, I'm getting questions. People are talking to me. I'm getting compliments. People are asking me where I got them from. So it's something that can really elevate your fall, winter looks get you a nice little hat that's exaggerated or doing the most. And also, I can't forget your typical baseball caps. I'm still gonna wear those throughout the year. So yeah, find a hat, it'll keep you warm. It'll add a little bit of something to your outfit if it's super exaggerated or something out of the norm that you see every day. And if you're having a bad hair day, pop that on, just throw it on. Next up, I have boots. What would a fall winter's essentials be without boots? You gotta have boots and it's a level to the boot. For one, I love a heeled boot or a booty, whatever you wanna call it. You guys know I love a square toe. If you didn't know, now you know. It gives me that vintage classic look, but also I feel like sometimes they're a bit more comfortable and a little bit more edgy. However, we cannot sleep on a pointed toe stiletto. It has its place and it's very necessary. So I have a pair of stiletto booties that I got from Zara some time back and they mean business. With the heel boots, you can go two routes. You can get a chunky boot, that's gonna give you a bit more comfort or you can get something that has a stiletto heel and that's really like, we not playing games, don't play with her, let's get to it. And it's something about a stiletto that has a more more sophisticated, almost a sensual touch too. So both really have their role to play. Next up, I also love a Chelsea boot, something you can slip right on. For those, I do like to have something that has a little bit of height, something that's a little bit chunky. Either or, it's gonna give me more of that edgy feel, more of that put together feel. So that's what I'm pulling out as soon as the weather gets cooler. Also in this category, I do love a good cowboy boot. Now that's something that you can wear throughout the year, but depending on how you dress it, you can style it up or down, it's really up to you, but it doesn't hurt to have a cowboy boot. So I'm pulling out my cowboy boots, which have already been out since the summer, but you get what I'm saying. So as far as boots go, I'm not discriminating. I need me a chunky boot, I need a stiletto boot, I need a square toe, I need a pointed toe. They all serve different purposes for me. So those are what I'm gonna be pulling out and making sure I'm getting some wear in. Next up, I have sandals. Now, now hear me out here. That Birkenstock and sock look, I'm sorry, it's not gonna fail me. This is what I'm wearing when I want comfort. This is what I'm wearing to the airport. This is just something that I think is cute and it's more on the quirky side for me. Even like a flat form mule with a chunky sock, it gives you more of that playful side, more of that quirkiness. As we're moving into fall, I think it's great to hold on to some of your sandals before it gets super cold. You can pair those with some cute socks 
rock and keep it pushing. Now the sandals I feel they get the most shine, especially in fall, are the sandals that have some type of shielding or fur lighting to them. I don't own any, but I've seen some at Zara and I've seen some people rocking them. If you happen to have a pair, the fall time is the perfect time to wear them. And since we were talking about socks, I'm also gonna throw in loafers into this category. The loafer with the thin sock combo is always a nice look and I feel like fall is its time to shine. So that's something I wanna try out more. I have a great pair of brown loafers that I love so much, but I feel like I wanna try out the style of like a black loafer with some type of chunky sock. I wanna try that out. I feel like that would look great with your classic loafer or your platform or chunky loafers. I don't have any right now. I'm playing around with different sizes and shapes, but I've seen a, a couple cute pairs, especially the lace up ones from Sam Edelman and from Doc Martin. Next up, we have outerwear. With outerwear, I feel like it's great to have some sort of aviator biker or trucker jacket that's in that leather finish it doesn't have to be real leather but something to give you that look that's going to take you different places that's going to be an easy throw on and i feel like it can become a staple piece in your wardrobe depending on the color you get or it could be a statement piece if you get something that's eye-catching something that just has a lot going on. One of my favorite pieces to wear as the weather gets cooler is my aviator jacket that I got from Misguided. It has like a fur lining to it and the jacket is the statement and it's actually warm so I love this piece. One of the things I feel like I'm missing now, I remember back in the day there's a time when the bike, the fitted biker jacket was all the rave. Like everything fitted that was what you wanted however i feel like we've kind of transitioned to like an oversized biker jacket that kind of has like a trucker feel and i feel like that's something missing from my wardrobe i definitely need a biker jacket so i'm gonna keep an eye out i'm gonna keep an eye out and i'll let y'all know when i get one the other pieces that i'm pulling out or have already been out are my denim jacket. My denim I can wear throughout the year, so it's not even a real biggie. I tend to like darker denims as the weather gets colder, so deeper washes, deeper blues, that indigo kind of vibe. As it gets colder, I feel like a lot of people kind of retreat to those darker colors, their blacks, their grays, more of those drabby looks, but I feel like the colder months are also a great time to pop in bits of color. And if you think about it, fall is actually very colorful, so why not? So with that, I'm layering a lot with my cord shirt slash jacket. So I have them in everything from gray all the way to pink, orange. I have them in many, many colors. So I can play with keeping it safe with darker shades or bringing some of the color through my corduroy shirts. I just wear these as jackets in the fall. And as it gets colder, I'll wear it as a layering piece to keep me warm. Next up, I have blazers, another layering piece. For me, my go-tos are my all-black blazer or my dad blazer in a glam plaid pattern. That covers the majority of the bases for me for this time of year. And last but not least, I have my long line jackets. So here I have my trench coats and I also have my long wool and leather jackets. So with these, I'm usually waiting a little bit more towards the winter time rather than fall, but you know, I'll take it out as needed. I feel like to cover your basics, it's nice to have something in a staple color. So something that is black, then maybe have something that's on the earthy side, whether it's a neutral or a khaki, then pop in a color. If you have three of those, that's gonna cover your basics. Of course, the cooler months are sweater weather. So I'm definitely pulling out my chunky knits. This is the time to wear them. And I'm also pulling out my turtlenecks. Baby, I love a good turtleneck. So you gonna see me in turtleneck, the temperature shops. So this is the time, get your little turtleneck on, get your mock necks, get your roll necks, whatever you wanna call it, this is the time. So those are really all of my fall winter basics. I don't really rotate my closet because I feel like the moment that I put something to the side, I'm gonna forget I own it. So I just have everything on display, but it helps me know like the inventory of what I already own and keep things in check in a way. I feel like this was on the shorter side, but I hope this video was helpful and gave you an idea of things you can probably pull out as the weather changed. So I hope everyone is doing well, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And if you're not, I hope you get to a better place soon. And especially with this weather change, we gotta stay on top of it. If you know, you know. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and keep telling a friend to tell a friend like telephone i'll make sure i leave some videos on the screen for you guys to watch but until next time bye guys i'm hot but if i do it like that i'm really really hot that work